Thursday night, it's after work, the sun's going down, the wind's blowing a gale, I'm throwing spinner baits, hard bodies, and we're out chasing some Murray cod again. Thanks for tuning in, it's another episode of CNS Fishing Adventures. Stick around, see what happens. I normally try and stay away from anything windy, like the plague, the black plague and COVID. But um, I don't know, I've just been trying some different things. And that session the other day was pretty windy. Not this windy, but it did pretty good. And it got me thinking. And a few people have said, you can catch cod any time just sometimes are better than others so we're doing a bit more skinny water and um just for the sake of testing like if was that other arvo yeah it was a different time of day um a fluke or not or was it just a bite period in so to speak but um who knows bit short And if it's a bit windy, I normally tend to cast things like spinner baits and chatter baits. Just for the sheer fact, they're less wind affected well whilst you're casting. To try and cause a little less drama like that while you're trying to do your thing and land your lure where you want it to. Timbar, there's timbar in there. I don't know how long I'll keep this AC on from the other day. It was literally still on the rod. Did not plan to start this way, but we thought I might just give it a dip. Oh, it's, it's bloody hard to cast. Because apart from the wind, the pressure and other related bits and pieces are doing pretty good. We did get a bit of a downpour the other day and I tried to catch the front of the storm that just brewed up and hit us with about between 30 and 40 mil depending on which side of town you're on um, just to fish the front of it to catch the, the turn on but I was a little bit late getting my ass there into gear and out there and pretty much pulled up to get smashed by some fierce winds and a lot of rain nearly did not make it out of the paddock almost cost me a box of beer. What we might do is we'll what, go poke a few that away. Oh, we had a couple of lights there. Two bites. Right, it's a good sign. Wasn't real big and wasn't real aggressive. Not bad cast. Didn't do the damage though. Oh, 
spurt it now. Not sure what that one was. Might have been timber. Definitely timber. Oh, I don't think he's coming back. Well, we could be wrong. Come with me, please, little bud. You hungry boy. Oh, that's a healthy looking little cod. Not much log you to stand on. Try and perch myself so we don't get wet. Took a few to get him to come back. Had to work my way down that snag, but it was sort of it was a hard spot to drop one in because it um it was pretty much on top of a couple like a V of snags. Let's see if we can just do one of them. Hey buddy. You can recap if you like. Write in the comments below if you can find a better alternative to any of the style of lip grips that are around. Plastic ones, I'm, I, I like. I like that they're not so like sharp and, and pointy and shit like that, but um, they just don't have the clamping force. I've thought about modifying a good old set of metals. How the fuck? The other fire truck. Oh yeah, that way. Modify them a set of hooks on the on that style. See if we can do this for something a little different.
horrible. Yeah, that was not good, good footage. <laughs> but we got a cut on the board. Yeah, good. A little bit better model if we dropped it. Whew. Beautiful. We're not getting a hook into him. He's not coming back. What was he on? He didn't fuck the plastic up. I mean, if I truck the plastic up. As always, appreciate you watching. Throw us a thumbs up. Throw us a sub if you haven't. And thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.